Astro again, oh, featuring Baby Jet, Baby Jet. If you care, you do this video. Ah, but thank you, I don't be do the edge. Be down, be down, be a. Hey. We are back on, oh, no, no. That's where you're back on. Theophilus Tago, popularly known by his stage name as Castro, mysteriously went missing while on vacation in Ada. Ada is located in the southern part of Ghana. This case gradually turned cold as various speculations about his disappearance have not yielded any real outcomes. What went down on that fateful day that resulted to this man going missing? Might he still be alive somewhere, enjoying life, and probably will show up years later? Or did he truly die like the way the government labeled him dead? so much speculation making it even harder to separate reality from gossip and it all makes sense since no one has ever discovered this guy's whereabouts. It is now more than seven years since he was last spotted alive. Some have stood their ground and are hoping for him to return. However, others have settled on the ideology that he died. When did Castro die? You are probably wondering whether the story of him being sighted in different places are true. Disappearance cases are hard to solve and when the search region consists of a large body of water, there is a low chance for interested parties to find resolve. That is why his unique case is exceptionally befuddling. So it all happened on a Sunday, July 6 of 2014, when the entire universe received the sad news of Castro's indefinite disappearance. What led to him missing? for over seven years. Well, many people have been enjoying Castro's song for a long time and he had amassed quite a following in Ghana. Nobody anticipated his departure from the music industry based on that fateful day. Castro was on tour with his longtime friend Asamoa Gyan, whom they had even recorded a hit song together. According to Gyan, that was the first time they visited that resort. The relaxation spot was full of amazing things to do and the group chose to go for a jet ski. However, Castro did not get an opportunity to partake in that event on that day and that is how he developed tremendous interest in going for a thrill-seeking jet ski ride after learning of his friend's fun moments on the water. Castro picked his girlfriend, Janet, and without wearing life jacket, jumped on the jet ski and sped off, and people watched him. They thought he was he knew what he was doing, and nobody really cared. It was only after one of the owners started complaining that Castro is not yet back with the jet ski that the group began panicking. Pandemonium ensured as people started to search for the entertainer. Others joined in later. However, Castro and his lady, Janet were never found anywhere in Adua Estuary during that moment. And to this day, it is a mystery what happened after Castro left the show. Believing that he had drowned during the preliminary search on that fateful day, the jet ski that he drove off with was discovered, but there was no dead body or dead bodies. Despite an intensive search by the police, his body had not been recovered by the end of the day. Until today, nothing has been found. It's been eight years already. Some fans and musicians are still hopeful that he would walk through the door someday. Guillaume, his friend, was devastated when the incident happened because a lot of people were starting to wonder why it happened. What was his role in this guy's disappearance? But, you know, they are good friends and it's impossible to imagine the worst between them. Gia narrated that it was their first time going to that area. In their previous years, they usually go to Akosombo. But that particular year, the yacht in Akosombo was broken down, so they decided to go to Ada. Now, before going to Ada, they called to find out if they could get a bigger yacht because they were planning uh, a party in the water. Astro called him a week before and told him that he would not be joining them because he lost a very good friend and he was attending a funeral in Kumasi. For a day to when they would go to Ada, Castro came to his house and said he was on his way to Kumasi and would not join them. But he has said that while they were on their way to Ada, Castro called him and said he changed his mind and wants to join them. 
So they parked at the filling station and waited for him to meet up so that they could all go there together. When they all got to Ada, everything was fine. They planned to spend three days, but on the uh, they had an activity on the first day. But on the second day, it was you know when they decided to go for jet ski. Um, Castro had other plans, so he decided not to join them on that day as a group to go and enjoy the jet ski. So when he returned, he had stories and gist of how much fun they had. So he could not take it anymore he decided to go and uh, you know explore and have his own fun just before the vacation is over there have been reports that castro was spotted in togo among many other auspicious theories people have even included some religious speculations about the matter although many have been looked forward to when castro would return his disappearance has in a way confirmed many people's fears according to ghana's law castro was declared dead in 2021 with no body to bury the founder and leader of Cosmo Afro Ministries insists that Castro is alive. He said he's alive somewhere and he will turn up when it's time to. Although Castro's family is aware of this, his parents strongly believe in their son's return. In 2020, Castro's father, Kofi Tago, said there will be no funeral for his son if he is still not found this year. In an interview on Akoma FM, he said there is no evidence that his son is dead. Therefore, the family sees no need to hold the funeral for him, even if it is required by law to declare him dead after seven years. Did Castro predict his death? In a song released in 2016 titled She Did Do Me, the hip life artist's lyrics is a clear picture of what might have led to his death. In the song, Castro sang in Ghanaian language, but the translation is, I fell into a river and began to swim. I felt the sweetness of it and I began to struggle. The river should carry me away. I followed the sweetness of sugar and brought trouble upon myself. Could this mean the artist predicted his death? We don't know. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think he's somewhere? Do you think he's dead? I mean, it's been such a long time and of course, um, although there are no bodies recovered in the water and the jet ski he drove on that day was found. What about, um, you know, is it possible that people actually saw him the way they are predicting? Some say they saw, they saw him in another country, some say he's here and there. So do you think there's a truth, you know, atom of truth to that or people are just being silly? Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel.